Hello and welcome to today's Tuesday tutorial. I'm Zane Condren, Senior Video Specialist here at NewTek, and today I'm going to be showing you how to send and receive calls using Skype TX on your TriCaster TC1 or your NewTek IP Series Video Mix Engine. Here in our live production interface, we first need to set up two channels to be our Skype TX channels. You can do that by right clicking on the input, choosing configure, and under the source selection drop down menu, choose one of your two Skype TX channels. Once you have your inputs set up to be your Skype TX channels, we need to find our IP address so that we can use that to remotely administer the Skype TX calls. To do that, simply click the globe in the upper right hand of the screen and you'll see your IP address right here. After we find our IP address, we actually need to set up a password on our VMC or our TriCaster TC1 if we haven't already done so. And we do that by exiting the live production interface, exiting out to Windows through our administrator mode. And then the easiest way is simply to start typing with the start menu and open the control panel. Go to the user accounts page, choose manage an account, choose the account on your system and create a password. I recommend that you put in a password hint so that you can remind yourself if you forget the password or if you have multiple users, uh, giving them a hint that would be something they would know would be a great idea. Once you've set a password, you will need to restart your TriCaster TC1 or your Video Mix engine. Once your system is rebooted, you can go back into your session and we can start placing calls. Now, to remotely administer your Skype TX calls, you will need to install Skype TX Control on another Windows PC. I have it running on my laptop over here. The first thing you need to do is sign in to Skype TX using any Skype account. So once you're signed in to Skype TX, you'll see all of your available contacts along the left. And then over here on the right is where we will add our Skype channels that we want to control with this instance of Skype TX control. Once you log in to Skype TX, you'll see all of your contacts over here on the left hand side. Over here on the right is where we can add the Skype TX channels that we want to control with this instance of Skype TX. So we'll simply enter the IP address that we previously found and hit the plus sign. Here it will ask you for the system credentials for your VMC1 or your TriCaster TC1. After you have entered your password and hit entered, Skype TX will show you the, the available channels available for control. Once you've set up a channel, we can then place a call. Once the call is active, you'll get a low frame rate preview of the remote guest here in the Skype TX interface. Now back in our live production interface, you'll see the Skype call is active on input number 15 in full resolution. Here in our audio mixer, you'll see that inputs 15 and 16 have been designated to be our Skype channels. Now this is really important that once you designate an input to be a Skype channel, that Skype channel gets its own mix minus return feedback to the remote guest. So that means you don't have to tie up any of your aux buses, you don't have to use external audio processing to do the mix minusing. It's all built right into Skype TX integrated with your TriCaster TC1 or your NewTek Video Mix Engine.
Down here in the audio mixer, you see that you now have a talkback button for each of the Skype TX channels. What this will do, it'll allow you to designate a source here in your new talkback slider as a producer's microphone for them to be able to provide feedback to the remote guests. Now this will duck program audio and replace it with the talkback audio source. As far as video feedback goes for the remote guest, mix one from your live production is returned back to each of the two Skype TX callers. You'll see here in our output configuration that you can set mix one to be any of your inputs, any of your program, including program row, preview row, any of your MEs. So no matter what you want to send back to your remote guest, it's all possible. Okay, once you've selected your return video feed that you want to set back to your remote guest, you can also enable remote tally. And what this means is that when their Skype source is somewhere on an output on your live production system, that they will get an overlay embedded in their return video feed over Skype. So no matter what Skype client they're using, they'll know that they're on air. And this is a customizable image that you can change if you would like to. Now that we've taken the proven power of New Tech Talk Show and integrated it into your live production system, we've given you the ability to add any of the 300 million Skype users into your live production. We hope this video has been helpful and informative, and we look forward to seeing you next week at the next Tuesday tutorial.